Good morning, Panthers. Today is November 16th, 2020. Please join me for a few moments of prayer and reflection as we begin our day. This morning, I thought I'd do something a little different for prayer. I'm going to read a reflection from a book, Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, and she writes from God's point of view. So as I read this, imagine that this is a message from God directly to you. Let's go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Today we pray for seminarian Bobby Krish. The Navigator. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. Psalm 73, 24. As you think about the day that's ahead, it's not looking like a straight, smooth path. You see a maze instead, full of crazy twists and turns with lots of choices to make. How are you going to navigate your way down that path? But you forget one thing. You're not the navigator. I am. Every trip needs a navigator. Let me be yours. Remember, I promise to never leave you and to always guide you. As you let me take the lead, look again at your path. You'll notice that a peaceful fog has settled over it, so you can see only a few steps in front of you. That fog is my protection to keep you from worrying about the future. It also helps you keep your thoughts on me in the here and now. So relax and let me be your guide. I'm holding you by your right hand. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Panthers, we do have a new virtue of focus this week, or a virtue to highlight and focus upon. This week, our virtue related to thankfulness is loyalty, the strength to make a cause more important than yourself, enabling you to make sacrifices to achieve it. So I'll read that again, loyalty, the strength to make a cause more important than yourself, enabling you to make sacrifices to achieve it. Our school, our teams, our families, our togetherness, those are all causes that we can be loyal to. All right, Panthers, it's time for birthdays. A very happy birthday to Dylan in pre-K. Happy birthday, Dylan. And a very happy birthday to Lydia Bogle in seventh grade. Happy birthday, Lydia. All right, I believe those are all the announcements we have today. Panthers, um, as we get started with our remote learning, uh, some of you have been doing remote learning. For some of you, last week was a uh, go back to last spring. So we know it comes with challenges, but uh, let's trust God as our navigator and let's really dig in. Take it one thing at a time, take lots of breaks. Make sure you email your teachers if you have any questions. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll be back in school. Those of you that are coming in person next Monday, back to our, our sense of routine. And for those of you that have been remote learning, we uh, admire you as this is a really challenging thing to do. So thank you all for sticking with it and being loyal to our school community. With that, we will end our morning announcements and start our day with the St. Anthony Faith Pledge. We, the students and faculty of St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, vow to be Christ's light for the world. May our eyes see Christ in one another. May our mouths speak words of love and kindness. May our ears listen for ways to serve. May our hands reach out to help. May our feet walk closely with Jesus so that we may live in his light. Jesus, light for our world, shine in us and through us. Have a great day, Panthers, and St. Anthony de Padua, pray for us.